Oh, hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to my channel, Weldon Aquatics. Sorry, guys, I was just admiring uh, that paint job that I did on my 75 gallon. So I decided that we're gonna do some late night arts and crafts tonight. Stick around. Hey guys, I decided to make this video for you tonight. Uh, it's actually about almost about 12.30 in the morning, so almost one o'clock in the morning here. Uh, I worked a really late shift tonight from work, got home late, and you know, I'm to work tomorrow, so I just decided to come kind of tinker in the fish room and, well, we're gonna continue on with the 55 gallon build. Uh, we talked a lot about the filter already, but I wanna show you a way to do a very uh, inexpensive background that is, gives a different dynamic and some depth to the tank. We're gonna paint the back of the 55 very similar to what we did with the, on the 75 gallon, but we're gonna use a different technique. So there's two main ways to paint the back of a tank, and one, like I did on my 75, you can use spray paint. The second is you can use a roller and roll on some paint. Spray paint worked out pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with how the color came out but I'm not pleased. There's a lot of overspray. It was really difficult to get the paint to layer the way I wanted to. So I've been curious to try uh, the roller method uh, to see if we can't get a better finish on the tank. So we're gonna flip the camera around. Uh, we'll get started. We're gonna face the tank and I'll give you some commentary as we're getting this thing painted and we'll go from there. All right guys, we're gonna point out a few things and talk about how I prepared this tank to get painted. And sorry for the reflection of the fan right now. Uh, because I am painting inside the fish room, I have the fan going, I have a window open. I, I made sure I have ventilation in this room. Anytime you're working with you know, silicone, paint, anything that's gonna give off fumes, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. So for the tank though, we cleaned the entire back of the tank. We took off any oil residue, we're gonna do a wipe down and it air dried completely. So there's no moisture on this tank. And then I came along all of the edges that I don't want painted on the back and taped it off. Now the big thing you're gonna notice, let me get the camera on there, is that I did not tape, well I, I sectioned off the back of the filter. So this is actually looking into the filter, it's hard to see that reflection, but I do not want to paint this. And the reason being is this will, will still allow me to see into the filter and see if I have any issues going on back here. So that was my personal choice on this. So I put down some, some painter's tape and then everything else inside this kind of rectangle area, well, it is a rectangle, <laughs> is what is going to be getting painted black. So let's get started. All right guys, so now we're gonna get started painting the tank. We went over how I taped it off, cleaned the back of it, and we're gonna go over a few of the things I'm using. I personally, again, like to wear latex gloves. It's just an easier cleanup for me, it protects my hands. Uh, I've noticed that some different chemicals can actually irritate my hands. Um, one of the biggest things we're going to be using, already got some paint on here, is it's a very short nap roller. This one's actually kind of a more of a styrofoam. You want something that's gonna allow you to lay down some paint, but you don't want it to leave streaks. So a short nap roller is going to be the best. And the paint we're using is by Rust-Oleum. So it's just, it's just your regular latex paint. Uh, I am using a semi-gloss black. I wanted it to have a little bit of a sheen, but not look like a mirror. So what we're going to do on that first, the very first coat we're going to put down though, and again I'm, I'm using shop towels around me. I've did some preparations. And be very careful I don't spill any paint. So we'll set this over here and get started. So on the first coat that you actually put down is we're gonna apply probably two to three coats. You want to do a very light coat. I mean I'm talking just barely roll that brush on to where it looks like you almost fogged. Put a fog over the glass with the paint and let that dry for a few minutes. And what that's gonna do is give the paint a better surface to adhere to. So think of like when you paint something, you know, you usually will scuff it up with sandpaper to help the paint stick. 
Well, instead of scuffing the glass up, we're just gonna put down a very thin coat of paint and it's gonna act as that adhesion surface. So let's get started on that. And guys, I am not a, a, a painter by any means. I'm not professional. So you don't have to worry about it turning out perfect. It, it's paint, it's gonna self level. So just kind of pick somewhere and just kind of start. So hopefully the camera's picking this up and you can see that I, I'm doing, literally doing a very, very gentle brush stroke with the roller. I'm just putting down just a little bit of paint. This is not gonna be your final look of the tank. This is merely just a, like we were talking about, give the sur a surface for the other paint to adhere to. And one reason too why I like taping this off and using black paint is the trim on this is already black so I'm not too concerned of getting paint on the trim but with the tape though it's going to allow me to get a nice clean edge when we take that tape off and one thing too you can also use is a, a small foam brush to fill in the gaps around around the edges to give a more finished look on this and the great thing about paint too is you have so many color options uh, different texture options but let's say you get bored of what you did you take a razor and you scrape it right off all right guys so we have coated the back of the tank in a very soft or a very light coat of paint it's nothing heavy. I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and then we're gonna come back and that's when we're really gonna start applying a lot of paint to the surface to give that deep rich black we're looking for. Now, is I'm actually gonna take a little bit of, actually quite a bit of paint, using a very small foam brush, and we're gonna come fill in the edges right along the trim. So again, we put tape there so I'm not totally worried and it's black so it should blend but this way what's going to happen is it's going to fill in some of the white bleed through it i noticed on my 75 that i couldn't quite get up into these edges and it just didn't it didn't look a hundred a hundred percent have a hundred percent satisfaction on it so that's something i wanted to change on this i wanted to try some new technique so i'm just using this sharp edge of that brush and really just kind of dabbing paint up in there before we start adding on other coats of paint here to the main portion of the tank. So keep putting this in here. And I've made the decision to not paint the sides of the tank. Um, I, I debated on that one for a long time if I wanted to paint the actual sides of the tank. I decided not to. I, I, I didn't want to where, the, where I'm adding this tank into the fish room, I didn't want to darken that section any more than I had to. So I felt like by painting the side, main, well mainly the sides of the tank, um, that I would be darkening too much of it. And I know you're thinking, well you're already painting the, the back of the tank black, but the reason I chose black is that I feel it's going to contrast really well with the fish that we are stocking in this tank. They're actually right behind the camera. You can't see them in their quarantine tank. And they will be done with quarantine this week. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to get this tank set up and ready for them to move into. All right, so I filled in all the edges with some paint with that foam brush. We're now going to go back over uh, the back of the tank with the main roller, but this time we're actually going to apply a healthy coat of paint. So we're not going to just do a light coat. We're actually now going to start filling in the back of the tank. And you'll notice as you paint on glass, it tends to take a little more paint than you think it's going to. So that's another reason why we start with, it's easy to start with a light coat and then work your way up to heavy coats. So this, this project will take you a little bit of time, but it's nothing outrageous. 
And like I said, guys, I, I am not a professional painter by any means. I, I have to remind myself that sometimes it looks better if you all do your strokes in one direction. But for the most part, I'm just kind of going at it. enjoying my night that's really what this comes down to just make sure you enjoy yourself as you're doing these projects that's what hobbies are for right but all right guys that is really how easy and simple it is to paint the back of an aquarium to give you a cheap do-it-yourself background that's going to add some depth and some variety to your tank so guys have some fun with this try it out see if it works for you but i'm going to keep working on this tonight in a future video we'll show you the the final product of this as we finish wrapping this tank up but thank you for joining me tonight on my uh, very late art project. But guys, I'm Trent Weldon with Weldon Aquatics. Thanks for joining me, and have a good night.